Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. We're going to be jumping straight into the reading to see the messages that the divine wants you to receive at this moment in time. And the first card that is coming up for you is the energies of the justice card. So the divine is calling for a sense of balance. The divine is asking you to look at your life right now and to see where you could be off center, where you need to rebalance your life. For some of you, this could be you dealing with a justice system. This is you going to court. There's just a legal system that is on the cards. There's a legal case that is here and the divine is saying to you, allow time, the time that it needs so that this situation can be dealt with fairly. And it is very important for you to put your feelings to one side and to put your emotions to one side and to also be looking at the situation and only entertaining the facts only because there just could be something where your emotions are coloring your judgment, where your emotions are getting in the way. So the divine is saying that for some of you, balance your emotions, look at where you're off center, for some of you, there's a situation that you're experiencing, that you're currently going through, where it is to do with the legal system. Do not be in a rush. Just allow the situation the time that it needs. But at the same time, don't let anything consume you. Okay, so our next card that we have is the energies of the Six of Swords. It is interesting what we were just saying about not letting a situation consume you because having the energies of the six of swords, as you can see, you have a situation that is here. You're dealing with toxic people, toxic situations. You are dealing with snakes, but the divine is saying to you, remember the first card that came up for you was telling you that it is important to balance yourself, to be centered, because when you do that, you're going to be seeing yourself leaving a turbulent situation, leaving a situation that no longer serves you and entering a peaceful new chapter that is going to see you feeling centered, feeling balanced and being in that energy of gratitude because you have allowed the situation to be what it needs to, to be without you allowing your emotions, your feelings to get frayed because justice is taking too long. So for those of you who are dealing with snakes and toxic situations, the divine is saying to you, in divine timing, in divine timing, everything is going to be resolved, okay? So don't, again, waste a lot of energy looking at this situation and burning yourself out because there's just a situation where you could be feeling like the energies of the Knight of Wands. You are wanting justice and you are wanting justice now. For some of you, you are wanting even that sense of revenge or seeing someone eating their words or seeing someone just getting slapped by Lady Justice. But the Divine is saying for you, turn around and go in a new direction. Don't allow this situation to be consuming your energy, to be consuming your time. Because if you do that, you are just going to be seeing yourself feeling frustrated, feeling exhausted. You are going to be seeing yourself just burning your energy for no particular reason. Because the energies of the Knight of Wands is very single-minded. So the Divine is saying, take that energy and put it into something that is going to be productive, Put it into something that is going to be useful. Our next card, as we can see, again, we have that element, that threes, that brings that energy of balancing a situation where some of you, you are collaborating with your solicitors. You're collaborating with this person that is here and you are collaborating with your guides and your ancestors because in doing so, you're going to be seeing that everyone is showing up at the right time. For you, you are putting your work where it's needed and your guides and your ancestors are watching over your back. They are looking over this situation. They are looking over this case. And at the same time, the take away from this reading so far is the divine wanting you to understand that you are going to come out of this situation smelling of roses. For some of you, you are being um, given the money, the compensation that you need. For some of you, this legal situation is going to be coming out in your favor. For some of you who are just walking away from toxic people, toxic snakes, you are going to be seeing that as you are moving away, you are finding people who are collaborating with you in a way that you are seeing that you are respected, in a way that you are seeing that your voice, your opinions are valuable. So the divine is saying that for some of you, you're going to be entering a peaceful new chapter where you're finding people who are wanting to hear you out, who are seeing what you bring to the table and appreciating it. So there's a sense of you walking into a new job and this new job really being bringing you that sense of peacefulness. Not only that, 
also seeing your money growing. I like this energy that is here because we opened up with our major arcana card of the justice card. And here we're seeing you really balancing your emotions. You're balancing your, your, um, the truth and you're not allowing your emotions to get in the way. You are balancing where you are going and you are staying focused on your journey. So the divine is saying that there is an element of you starting to see how everything in your life requires your attention. And when you allow yourself to disperse your energy in a balanced way, you start to see that your energy will start creating beautiful chapters, beautiful encounters, and beautiful new moments that are happening for you. So there is something connected to money. There is something connected to your resources. There is just some money that is going to be coming in where you are going to be feeling vindicated because you have won a situation. And for some of you where it is not money, there is just something that is coming in where again, you're feeling that sense of vindication. So balance is going to be very, very important as you are moving forward. Okay, because the energies of the justice card is all about understanding that when we allow lady justice to come in when we allow karma to work with divine timing divine timing comes at the right time not on our time but at the right time at divine timing so if you're feeling frustrated about this situation if you're just feeling that people are just being toxic around you you are not adding fire to the situation you are not consuming yourself and burning out because you're frustrated that nothing is happening around the situation that is here. But instead, you're turning around and you're making sure that you're putting your energy into something that is going to be bringing results. That is going to be bringing that sense of you appreciating where your focus is. Okay. I'm just feeling and hearing any other energies that are wanting to come up for you. The divine is saying that for some of you, just going out into nature is going to be very, very important. Okay. Oh, look at that. There you go. So what were we talking about? The divine already told you that put that fire, put that drive into something that is going to be constructive. Instead of you focusing on this person, focusing on this situation and burning yourself out. Because Lady Justice is not ready to take action yet. Karma is not ready to deal with this situation yet. And you could be finding yourself feeling frustrated. So the Divine is saying that draw a line in the sand, turn around and focus on the things that are bringing you some positive results. Focus on maybe meditating, going out into nature, into your work, into making more money. Anything that can redirect your energies in a positive way, this is going to be important because the divine is saying that right now, it is very, very important for you to stay away from drama because if you engage in drama, you are going to just be feeling really frustrated because of this feeling of being stuck, of this feeling of being at a crossroad and nothing seeming to go in a new direction, nothing seeming to go in your way. So again, the divine is saying, stay away from drama. Justice will happen at the right time. And for you to focus your energies on the important things, I want to say to you that we have our candle magic ceremony that is going to be happening on the 5th of May. And on this day, because we're still in lunar eclipse energies, we are working with the energies of cutting the cords to anything that is making you feel stuck. We are cutting the cords and we are wiping away toxic energies, toxic situations. We are banishing bad luck. We are returning to sender whoever is sending you negative energies, witchcraft, juju, whatever it is. We are returning this back to sender so that you can start finally start thinking clearly. You can start having that clarity in your mind. In knowing what it is that you need to do next as you're exiting the situation, as you're cutting the cords, as you're starting to distance yourself from this situation. So if you're feeling that there are many challenges that you've been experiencing over and over again, if you're feeling that there is people who are causing you harm, who are sending intentions of harm, of bad luck, whatever it is that other people are doing, we are going to be cutting those cords. And so if you're wanting to be part of that ceremony on the 5th of May, go in the description box below, reserve your space, write your petition and send your petition to us. And me and my team will be collaborating together 
really cleansing the energies, wiping the slate clean, bringing the vibration up. Go and have a look at the ceremonies that have happened in the past. I'm going to link them at the end of this video. And you can see how powerful there is drumming, there is chanting. We really use sound vibration. We use sacred instruments that clear the energies and wipe the slate clean so that when it is time for you to move forward to a peaceful new chapter, you are doing so with a clean slate so that these snakes and these toxic situations cannot keep on carrying on following you wherever you go. So it is important for you to take part in that ceremony if you feel that this is something that you're wanting to do. Candle services, they do sell out quite quickly, so don't wait until the last moment. Reserve your space as soon as you can, okay? So as we're looking at our cards that is here, you are liberating yourself from that feeling of being stuck and you're starting to move forward into a chapter that you feel that you are finding your soul tribe, you're finding your team, you're finding your sense of balance. You are reconfigurating yourself and recentering yourself. So the divine is saying that this is where you are going to be going and you are going to be really focused on this. And this is good because that balancing act is going to be very, very important for you. Your guides are saying to you, as you are going to be on a new chapter, on a new journey that is here, it is going to be important for you to start paying attention to your dreams. Your dreams are going to be helping you navigate this situation. For some of you, you are currently not seeing that you are dealing with toxic people. You are dealing with snakes. But when you ask your guides to reveal some information, you could be seeing that you are dreaming. You are receiving the information that you need about who this person is and what they are doing behind your back. And how they are wanting to send that energy of sabotaging you so that you remain feeling stuck, so that you remain feeling frustrated. So the divine is saying to you, your dreams are going to be giving you important information before you go to sleep at night. Engage your subconscious mind and ask it to reveal some important information in your dreams for some of you, you just could be feeling frustrated. You just could be feeling stuck. And then boom, you just have a premonition. As if out of nowhere, a divine message comes in. So listen to that message. Follow the divine guidance that is on the cards because it is going to be leading you somewhere. But again, don't waste your time trying to engage in any dramatic situation because finally you're understanding who is your enemy, who is getting in your way. And for some of you, this is someone that you know, someone you are close to. And you just could be surprised that people could be that wicked. But the divine is saying that when you receive this premonition, when you receive this information in your dream, don't get triggered to want to go and bring the house down. But instead, go in a new direction, distance yourself from some people. So beloved, this is the message that the divine wanted to give you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye from me.